Hi, everyone. Welcome to day one of 14 days for the true beginner to learn digital marketing. I will be putting in a training topic every single day. But first, I want to say congratulations for getting your digital marketing started. And to get started, I am going to set you up for a massive launch. So you are successful and I will be showing you what you will be expecting and what it will look like and how you will learn it. First, you need to start. Start right here, whether you're learning the course on the side, this is where you want to start working. You will walk through, it's a walkthrough for beginners to learn step-by-step step, and it's a guide on how to start. I'll be showing you a post idea, the blue links, and the story template will also be in blue links. Down below, you always wanna watch the training video first, that blue link down below. So each day you'll get a training video along with a guide to follow along, go at your own pace. This is the first day of your digital marketing journey. So each day there will be a topic. I'll give you a story, post template, click on the links, and you will see it's in a boards app. That just makes it more automated for you. So if you go in to a story right here, day one, you will also see Facebook, a reel converts over to a TikTok. And I'll talk about how important those three for day one are very different. Don't be overwhelmed. If you want to just work on Facebook, Great. If you want to do Facebook and convert it over to um, Instagram, that translates very well. But this is a blueprint. Every post that I give you, make it your own, your own aesthetics, your own colors, your own branding. Usually want to follow suit in your whole look on your Instagram. So your color you create. Take extra time. Maybe you need to take extra time to really take care of creating these posts because it can be quite overwhelming. So if you just focus on Instagram or focus just on Facebook, that might take you a couple days. So this particular day one might take you two days, but I wanna encourage you to post and decide to post every single day. It could be a motivational picture. Say your, pic your color is more like a, beige color or you want the gray colors, pick a beach with a motivational quote on it. Something has to be on your stories or on your Facebook feed every day. It's super important. So training video will be in blue. You will see that first and um, making sure when we go, I'll go over this in a second, but I do want to go back to that. I want to set you up for success, and the way I'm going to do that is through showing you how to make everything automated. So in order to take true action, most of you have your stand store already taken care of. So inside your bio, it's going to translate to people when they um, do hashtags, hashtag um, creator, hashtag digital marketing hashtag MRR, hashtag course, they will be able to see your aesthetics, how you look in throughout your whole Instagram feed. If you want a faceless account, you want a nice bright picture, nothing cloudy. You do not want, if you're going to do a not a faceless, you need to have your face. People are not buying from your dog or from your kids. You need that picture to be of you. It doesn't need to be professional. It could be a picture using a ring light so that people see a bright picture of you. Brush your hair if you're a male, put on makeup if you're a woman, and set the Instagram to professional and public. That way you get way more views. Now, the professional dashboard is super helpful on Instagram because it shows, you could see right there, I have 170, 117,000 accounts I've reached on the analytics. Facebook's more limited, so you want to have a course 
go look in the course on how it talks about the difference between professional and personal. But when you set up your bio, using keywords is very important. You will be seen more often. Make sure you put in freebie. That is a hook to drive people to your stand store. If they get something for free, you betcha they're going to want to go to your stand store. That is why we are going to put the stand store in your bio, making sure you put some keywords, and then also put freebie. Now, the email capture is when they go to your stand store, do you want their name? You've got their phone number. You get their email address. So you want to put in your stand store, add product, and put the advanced um, see right here where it says advanced, click that button and you're going to create an email capture. It's all done in the stand store. It's so you can collect emails and it walks you through. You select an image. I did a beach. I don't know. And you want to write, you copy paste it just like a product. What is digital marketing, MRR, your subtitle is going to be need more details about the course, a deep dive overview. The button is going to be request and then um, your collect info, name, email, and phone number. Slide it over for text. So that way, when you get their information in your stand store, if you don't have the pro account, then you can set up a Gmail. Email flow is how you would do it if you, today you're going to set up an email flow connecting to the people who put in their name and number and want to know more information, get an overview, in-depth look at the products. And if you don't have the pro account, you can set up a whole Gmail um, template that you could shoot off one by one to each person. So email capture is done in the stand store. The email flow is automated. You get somebody to get your email, you can send them an email, giving them the overview and using what I showed you in boards up here. So in this template in boards, it has an email verbiage. You can put in hi, customer name. If you have the pro account for $90, it does it for you. Otherwise, you write it in. And anywhere you see parentheses, you have to keep it short. What's your personal goals? Make sure you fill that in. What is making you do this? And down here, you're going to insert a, the, the video. Where did it go? So down here, the 14 minute video, say how long the video is. And then you put in your name, your social media account. Here's the duo. You're going to do your stand store there, your page. Mine's, you know, you include your handle name. Okay. So that's what you're going to do there and select the plus sign in your email flow. I'm going to go back to that. The steps there. So down here. I love the email verbiage is already down for you. You can click here. I am going to put that there. It's in the boards. I just showed it to you up above. And you can add the flow. Once you do that, you download it into your stand store. Most of you don't have the pro account, so you'll have to put it in a Gmail account and just put their um, email emails in there. Add the flow, which product, which product are you talking about? The product is the email flow capture directly linked to 14 days. The boards, um, when you get down here, I, I was gonna also go back and say the, um, Yep, I told you to fix all the brackets, include the video hyperlink in the email. Also copy paste all your client's information and make sure you look in the parentheses. Okay, freebies. You get three incredible freebies to put in your stand store and it's a hundred faceless reels. You get to, uh, it's really all the rage right now. A lot of high influencers are using it. It's not something you have to, but it is very valuable. And you get to also include 
Instagram stories that sell in 500 plus chat GBT prompts. So in the course, when you put that as a freebie, people are going to be drawn to your account. They're going to want to put their name and email to get those freebies. So bam, now you have their name and email and they might possibly buy the course. You could charge 15 to $10 for each one of these. It's very valuable. Um, so all the boards each day will say, when you click on them each day, your first post, your last post, it will say day one, two, or three. I'm going to make those links live again, but it's the same one as up here. So look at the boards. It has day one, day two. So you have all the verbiage in the template. Change it to your kind of talk. It's just a blueprint of what you want to provide. Day one post, not one, two, three versions, Instagram and Reel. TikTok's different. So don't feel like you have to do all three of these, all of them. If you're just wanting to focus on Facebook, fine. If you're just in the beginner stage, it is super important just to break the ice and start ripping off the Band-Aid because it's scary to get a post up. What are people going to say about you? Day one, getting started is the hardest part in this um in the digital marketing business. So for when you when you make your first post, make it your own. Here, let me just show you. You can talk like this. One goal I've had for years now, and you put in what it is. See a video for ideas. You can say why. This is super important to be real, the three R's. Real, raw, and relatable. People need to connect to you. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Why did you click purchase? Why? Being real, raw, and relatable in this email or in this Facebook post, everyone wants less money. No. Everyone wants less time freedom. No. But you don't want to say those buzz buzzwords. You have to say what it would look like. What would it look like to you and your family if you did have time freedom or more money? You don't look in your bank account and say, oh, I wish I had less money or, oh, I wish I had less time. You have to talk about why, what would this look like? I've always wanted to take my family to Disneyland, have a nice bright picture in the post of Disneyland, and you shout that from the mountaintops. You go ahead and put it in your bio what your bio link it looks like so that people look at your post and then they can click on the link to see what your Disneyland picture, make it really clear, really bright. So say in there, because I have found a way, don't just copy paste this, make it your own. So that's just a skeleton. For example, a reel is four to seven seconds. You need a hook. The hook should be on the screen. Stop scrolling if you've been stuck in the same place for too long, because so was I. And then this should be in the paragraph below your picture. But today that has all changed. Here's how. Down here, friend, one goal I've had for years now is to go to Disneyland. So see, and you write down why I've always wanted to take my kids. I've just had this dream since they were th born and just be shouting those dreams from the mountaintops. It gives you, this guide is going to show you how you can insert these flows and TikTok's very different from Facebook and Reels. So TikTok, Facebook wants you to put all of your information into the caption, not on the video screen or on your post picture. TikToks, they want you to put all of this, all these words on this screen with very little in the caption. Isn't that funny? So the longer the video is, say you have these three, longer than the videos, 15 to 20 seconds, the words on the screen and the clips. One goal I've had for years is to go to Disneyland and um, insert why. They're almost eight and six, and I want to be able to get there before they're 14 because I found a way to experience this. I found a way to meet my dreams. All the clips 
have to be on, all the sentences have to be on your pictures for the three to four seconds for each clip, maxing out at 15 seconds. It's not a novel. You're just getting to the point. So you shorten your why because TikTok doesn't have a lot of time. Now you're going into the training topics. I know you decided to do this for the long haul. And this is going to be your day one. Day one is usually where you have the ego and the fear. And I want to stop you and talk to you about that training today because you would need to understand your ego. I choose to let go of any attachment to my ego, self-importance in my relationship and embrace the humility and service. You are being of service. You need to know what you're thinking about. It's good to write down all of your fears because it could be a trap and you can't afford an ego. If you go through hand in hand, ego and fear go hand in hand. Fear is the byproduct of ego. It's got its own separate truth. Ego is perception is I have financial insecurity. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not skinny enough. I feel like I'm unique. You are not alone. Ego will be faced on a daily basis and you will become more relatable if you become aware of your own ego while you're going through the course. And you need to see it's not happening without fear. Fear is there, but you just have the commitment to be stuck in this digital business and not be stuck in fear. Recognize it, speak life in it, write down all your fears, but you should be writing down in your posts how you're overcoming those fears. Because what are you learning? What are you struggling with? Ego and fear come together, but people can relate to that deep kind of feeling and they can come off as very real, raw, and you guys are very relatable. Living within your bank account is something you don't want to do. You want to live outside of your bank account, outside of your comfort zone, because some people are comfortable with living with nine to five and where they are from a year from now and just stay where they are. And stay that way, but you want to always take the judgment and opinion out of the picture because they don't pay your bills. The one thing you can't afford is an ego. Your ego will make you make your mistakes and make you quit and you keep going no matter what. You overcome that huge fear that the digital course speaks to think of, think for yourself, make a decision whether you can or you can't, you're right. Fear is temporary. Social selling is like hurtling a mountain. And how you, how it's fear is very temporary, but regret is permanent. I have a story. There were these two couples, a married couple. They crushed it in 30 days, made $50,000. And this new um, husband, they weren't husband and wife, but they, um, quit after 30 days because they compared themselves to the people who who just made 50,000. What they didn't know is they were in their chapter 5,860 chapter. They The other people were in chapter one. So they did not give it a chance and put their head down and just stay committed and make a decision to just not look up and compare themselves. You need to be able to see that you need to keep going and give yourself grace. You will start getting comments. People are watching you. They are seeing if you're going to stick it out. Your chapter 1 to 14 could be on and on for four months. But six years of this, I think that that is what makes the difference between a beginner and someone who's been around. Background does matter. So those two, that couple that made the $50,000, you know, they were motivational speakers. They had pages and pages of people following them. So you have to put your blinders on, stay consistent, post every day, and don't let fear take over. Faith says, even if fear says, what if? So when you're, when you get a bad comment, you just keep going, keep 
facing it and you will be unstoppable. I'm excited to be with you for the next 14 days. You're going to kick butt. And that was day one. And I look forward to seeing you day two coming up.